you. Uh, let's just close our eyes and let's pray. Thank you, Father, that you're busy reviving us. You are reviving us. And we thank you for that. That we will receive life in abundance. Your promise is life in abundance through your spirit that dwells inside of us. Streams of living water that will flow through us. Father, and thank you. All we can do is say is, Father, we are available. We are available for your kingdom. Thank you, Father, for your word that you're going to speak to us this morning. Thank you that we can enjoy communion this morning. And we don't want to forget what you did for us on Calvary, Jesus. And as we're going to participate and as we're going to read, I want to pray and ask Holy Spirit that you will reveal what Christ did on Calvary for us, that you will reveal it to us. So that we will partake in a worthy manner. That's my prayer this morning, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. amen. We're going to have communion this morning. And I want to focus a bit on that. Uh, let's go to 1 Corinthians 11. And I'm just going to read through it and, and just share what I, I, I see the words telling us concerning the communion. <clears throat> Sorry for my voices from all the screaming and shouting. He, he's worthy, my brother says, he's worthy to receive all our praise and honor. We serve a good God, good Father. We're in Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 11. Let's start with um, reading at uh, verse 23. Paul is speaking here. Remember, he was not in the upper room when they, Jesus um, shared this with his disciples. But God revealed it, Christ himself revealed it to him. We're going to read verse 23. For I received from the Lord... Uh, what which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the same night in which he was portrayed took the bread. This is important. He knew, listen, they're going to drop me. They're going to betray me. Somebody's going to betray me. And in the same time, terrible time, he took the bread to break it. And he knew that this is why I came. My purpose was here. My body is going to be destroyed. And what was the purpose of this? Let's go on. Verse 23. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and saying, Take it. This is my body which is broken for you. This is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. That means... I just want to get a cup and bread. When we take the bread, you must remember he did it for you personally. Not for the, he did it for somebody else also. Your wife, your, your, your neighbor, your husband. But he did it for you. He did it for you. And he's not going to do it when I pray, he's going to... No, he did it for me 2,000 years ago. He said, it is finished. Amen. I paid for Pastor Chris once and for all. My body is going to be broken so that healing can flow through his body. Amen. Amen. My brother says, this is important. Um, verse 20, 25... In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. That means the moment we take 
when you take the cup, the blood of Christ, he said, remember it's my body, remember it's my, my blood. Let's go on. For as, for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. That means when we take the bread and we drink the, the blood, we proclaim he died. He died. But he rose again. He's coming back again. But we're going to focus on for what, why did he die. Let's go on. Verse 27. Therefore. Sorry, I just want to put it down here. Therefore, whoever eats the bread or drink this cup of the Lord is in, uh, in an unworthy manner, will be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let, um, let a man examine himself, and so let him eat the bread and drink the cup. Verse 29. For he who eat and drink in an unworthy manner, eat and, and drink judgment over, to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. Let's just stop there. What's very important, what Paul is saying here, he, he say, don't eat and I, or drink in an unworthy manner. The bread and the cup. Unworthy manner. That means the, the meaning of the word unworthy. What's it worth for you? You see, Jesus Christ paid for, to, listen carefully, for total healing for us. For our bodies. And he cleansed us with his blood once and for all. That's why he pay, what he paid for. Now, that's what it's worth for us. If you don't believe it, and we, what, if, he say, if he says, uh, verse, verse 28, but let a man examine himself. The meaning of that is when you take the bread, oopsie. Sorry, sorry. When you take the bread and when you take the cup, you must remember what it is worth. He paid an awful price for me and for you. And that price is that your broken body will be whole, made whole. That's what he paid for. And when we drink the cup, his blood cleanses us. From all our iniquities and all our sins. His blood gives us life. Amen. And his blood protects us. When you believe it, that's what it's worth. An unworthy manner is not talking about sin. If I've got a and I haven't got one. Where's my wife's? Give me your watch. This watch, let me tell you it's just a story. This watch cost my wife a hundred thousand rand. It's only a joke. I'm not it's not true. <laughs> but 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 if this watch was a hundred thousand worth worth I won't just chuck it around. I will carefully care for it. Why? Because it's worthy to protect. Now, the, if, we, if the Bible is talking, we need to don't eat in an unworthy manner. Then he's telling me and you, you and me, we, do, we need to believe that he paid the full price. For healing us. I must believe. That when I drink this cup. He cleanses me for all my sins. 
and all my iniquities once and for all. Let's go to John 6. Oopsie. John 6 verse, I think it's 53. John 6 verse 50, 53, we're going to read. Verse 53, we'll read as follows. Then Jesus said to them, Most assuredly I say to you, unless, listen carefully, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink His blood, you will have no life in you. My brother and sister, let's stop there. That means when I take the cup and take the bread and I eat and I drink, guess what? The, this life, the life of Christ is flowing then through my veins, through my body. Amen. Listen, listen. When I eat and when I drink his body and his blood, he promises life will flow through my veins, my body. And death needs to go. Sure. Verse 54. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life. And I will raise him up in the last days. For my flesh is indeed a food indeed. And my blood drink indeed. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me and I in him. My brother and sister, this is what it worth. This morning when we eat... And when we drink, we declare, thank you, life will flow through my body. Amen. Amen. He paid the highest price 2,000 years ago so that healing will flow through my body. And that he washes me clean of all my iniquities, all my past. Amen. He cleanses me this morning. Um, let's go on. We're back at Corinthians. Corinthians 11. I want to read, I think, one more verse there. Uh, it's an it's a amazing scripture, actually. Let's go to... Let's read again verse 29. For he who eats and, um, who eats and drink in an unworthy manner eats... And drink judgment over himself, not discerning the body of the Lord. Verse 30. For this reason, let's stop there. If you eat in the unworthy manner, and drink in the unworthy manner, for that reason, many are weak and sick among you, and many sleep. Many are sick, weak, sleep. Why? Because they ate and drank in an unworthy manner. They don't know the power that's in this and in this. That's why some of us are weak, sleep, uh, sleep. because we don't know what's this worth and my prayer, I'm going to stop there this morning. My prayer for you this morning, Lord, reveal to us what this is worth. And what is this worth? But you need to believe it. You must believe, Lord, thank you, Jesus. You died. A horrible life. They destroyed your body. So that my body will be healed today. Amen. Amen. Can't believe it. We sang it this morning. Thank you for your blood. That gives me life. Life in abundance. 
Thank you for your blood that protects me against the attacks of the enemy. Thank you for your body that washes me, that cleanses me from all my iniquities and my sins. Amen? Right. What are we going to do? I, I want to ask a few men. Uh, please, let's grab. We're going to do it differently. Grab uh, the bowls and the, uh, the, the cups. And let's just dish out for each one. I want you to take it personally this morning. God, and if you want to share with your wife, that's fine with me. But I want you to trust the Lord. Lord, reveal to me what's it this worth. What do you want me to deliver? What do you want me de to deliver me from this morning? Because there's sin in my life. Um, there's fear in my life. Yeah, you can start just dishing out. Uh, thank you, Peter. I, Tom, can eat the house? There's no, another one. Thank you. Let's this uh, out. And I want you to speak to the Lord. Say, Lord, help me to understand what you did on Calvary for me. Just get and I'll pray. We're going to uh, drink together. We're going to eat and drink together. Each one, just get one, keep it, and then uh, we're going to share them, uh, eat together today.